the, obviously the controversy penalty, something that um, I probably will go down in the history books for the first player to be penalised for the VAR in the World Cup. Personal highlight for me, probably the first game against France when we were lining up for the national anthems. You know, just listening to the Australian national anthem, um, I think we had probably 70% of the stadium full of Aussies. And just hearing that being belted out was, was a proud moment for myself. And I've um, never heard that national anthem be sung quite that loud. Um, and yeah, it gave me goosebumps. And just I was remember just standing in the moment, just taking it all in and um, just yeah, realising how lucky and grateful I was to, to be standing there. There's a couple memories, good and bad. Um, yeah, just obviously just starting that first game against them, just the whole excitement of, of the World Cup. You know, coming up against the likes of Mbappe, Dembele, Pogba, um, you know, guys that are playing in the biggest leagues in the world and the biggest teams. Um, then there was also the, the, obviously the controversy penalty, something that um, I probably will go down the history book for the first player to be penalised for the VAR in the World Cup, but something that's um, not really proud of, but um, yeah, no, something that I can I'll tell the grandchildren about. Um, it, was, it, was a, it was a really good game. I thought we did very well and we, we held our own against France and we're unlucky not to probably, you know, come away with a point at least. Yeah, obviously there's it's a big step up, obviously playing from the A-League in, into a World Cup, you know, playing against players still playing in the best leagues in the world. But I feel like it, it yeah, it just gave me belief that, you know, you can mix it with, with the best players in the world and there's not too much difference. So um, I guess, yeah, it's probably the belief that, you know, you can you can do well on that stage, um, even just play, by playing in the A-League um, was probably the big biggest thing I took from that.